Good evening. Welcome to another tutorial. This time we'll discuss plate solving. This process involves the calculation of triangles and polygons between stars that are on an image. This helps the software identify where this image was taken in space, meaning where the coordinates are of the center of this image. So let's open an image and plate solve it. This is NGC 281 I took last week or so. If you wanted to know where this image RA and deck coordinates are, you can go to Analysis, Plate Solving, Single Image, and press OK. It takes a little bit, and then Prism Plate Solves this rather quickly. It even tells us what the, the direction of the image are. So north is left and east is up in this image. All these green markers are identified stars that are used to plates of the image. If you look at the computation information or the output of this function, you'll find that it found the RA and deck, which are here of the center of the image, and it found the angle of the image and the focal length, computed focal length. Another way to do this is to uh, blind plates of it, meaning the software takes off from unknown coordinates. Just let's just say somebody gave you a JPEG of a target they imaged, and you want to plate solve it to know where it's at in space. So let's try it blind plate solving. We'll go back to analysis, plate solving, and we go to plate solve from unknown position. If the RA and deck are available, Prism will pull them into here, this section. It's going to look into 50 degrees maximum, and it's going to populate your focal length, pixel size, and you'll tell it what catalog to use. In this instance, I'm using UCAC4. I want it to match 60 seconds from the catalog. I'm sorry, 60 stars from the catalog with 60 stars from the image. Press OK. This should not take long. Here we go. Let's one one second. It says the confidence in the index is good, which means this is a good solve. We tried one field out of 160. I'm sorry, 67,081, but it found it in the very first one since it was really close. And look at here and the focal length have been found to be correct as well press close now if you want a backup to plate solving by the famous astrometry.net engine this is possible in prism as well but you need to acquire an api key uh, if you go to settings software settings astrometry.net tab and put your API key here. If you visit the site nova.astrometry.net, you can sign up and acquire your own key, and it is free. You just need to sign up. We'll leave everything else the same. Note, you can even install astrometry.net local copy and use the local server on your computer to run astrometry.net. This is also available in Prism. Press OK. And let's solve this with astrometry.net. We go to analysis, plate solving, plate solve with astrometry.net. Prism will contact the server, and the server will reply with an ID, a session ID. Prism will send it the image, and it will take just a little bit to upload the image, solve it, and download the image with the solved coordinates. I will pause the video for now and come back when it's been solved. Here we are with the solved image. The astrometry.net server has responded with the center RA and deck of the image. It calculated the focal length to be 1380, which is, is found to be true, and the angle of the image. Now what's even better than this is that it replied with an annotated JPEG of the said target. If you zoom onto this, you will see that it circled the target 
and it ident identified as IC11 and GC281 and it even marked and identified this star there are a couple of stars at the bottom as well here we go this is pretty handy when you want a visual identification of the target now if you wanted to go one step further and know exactly in the sky where this is so let's open the sky chart here we go so we we'll right click anywhere we we'll do data connect merge image into sky map we we'll choose this image which we'll is NGC 281 or we'll press OK principal plate solve it and place it inside the sky chart here we are This will give you an even better visual cue of where it's at in the sky. I hope this tutorial was beneficial and if you have any questions or comments or feedback please leave them in the comments section below and please join our forum. It's open to anyone and ask your questions away. Have a great night and best seeing to you. Thank you.